Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, and none of the above. I'm alive. <laughs> Very nearly wasn't. Um, I have recorded the start of this video like six times in six different ways over the past couple of weeks and I really wasn't sure how to make my first video coming back so I figured that I would just address everything real quick and just move straight into my first video. It is no secret to a lot of you that I used to be a very big YouTuber for almost a decade. Uh, I got to 238,000 subscribers before I ended up deleting my channel. The reason that I deleted my channel is, and there really is no other way to explain it, I was preparing to kill myself. I had fallen into a deep suicidal depression. I just couldn't find the motivation to do anything that mattered anymore. Maybe I don't have the words to explain what depression is like, but I really don't think anyone does. I think it's best that I just start again, like I used to, and move forwards. So, what is it that I've been working on while I was gone? Let me show you. Apologies for this awful lens. Uh, it's like a 12 mil. I need like a rectilinear 8 mil, but I don't have 20 grand. Uh, so let's use this one. So this is, if I can get it nice and close in the viewfinder there, uh, this is Kevin. Say hello to Kevin, everybody. I asked Instagram what to name it. Lesson learned. This is a perfect example of pretty much everything that I could do to puzzles right now. Uh, we've got a Shengxia Mega Minx, which is a fantastic base puzzle. Uh, I've extended the uh, uh, corner piece out as, as far as I can on the cut lines, but I've also cut it down very far uh, on the, the corner axis. Um, I've extended the edge pieces out as far as I possibly can, uh, center pieces as well. Then I have uh, uh, these pieces here that I've cut down on one face, but I've also decided to give it this nice curve. Uh, then we have these faces here in the center that are cut down as far as humanly possible and counter-rotated. And we have uh, this large corner here that I've extended out. And we've also got this incredible sticker scheme, which is the product of uh, my last LSD trip. So we got a lot of stuff going on. And uh, this puzzle's actually very recently been sold to can you guess? Super Antonio Vivaldi. Um, I assume he's like a Russian drug dealer or something. I don't know how he has so many puzzles, uh, but he, I, I asked him if he wanted it before I listed it for sale. I gave him an opportunity. He's been very good to me in the past, and so uh, uh, he snapped it up. And this puzzle is the product of this wonderful studio setup that I now have. Uh, so much better than the last one I had. It's inside rather than outside. I don't have to worry about any background noise. I can work till the small hours of the morning and not wake anybody up. It's literally everything that I've ever wanted. The only problem is, is that I now don't have a YouTube channel to pair with it, so... Huh. But, I am in a better state than ever to get back to doing what I love, which is building puzzles, and not only that, making videos on it, and inspiring all of you guys to do that as well. That's what I spent the last 10 years doing, and it's a real shame what I went through a few years back, and I'm happy to say that I'm through all of that. It, it's hard to talk about, and so I'm not going to, but I'm back. I'm back, baby, and uh, I'm, I'm ready to do it again. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.